Greetings gamers and welcome to Eurogamer. That little video there, that was about Rezzed, our uh, upcoming uh, independent games, kind of PC-based uh, gaming expo. Uh, it's going on on June 22nd to the 23rd. You can buy tickets right now, so check that out if you want to go along to that. It's going to be awesome. And there's also uh, the Eurogamer Expo, which is coming up uh, at the end of September. I'll be showing trailers for that later on in the year. Uh, welcome to the stream, and uh, today I'm going to be playing Star Trek. Trek the video game. It's come out today. It's a bit controversial. Uh, it's been getting some pretty bad reviews. Uh, so I'm going to take you through from the beginning. I'm just going to play an hour, hour and a half's worth, and uh, we're going to see uh, we're going to see how bad stroke good it really is. Um, I've had a little hands-on previously at a preview event uh, where I noticed a few bugs and stuff, um, and then I played for about five minutes earlier on today and. Those bugs hadn't been ironed out, so there will be some funny stuff to show you guys. Um, the Eurogamer review, if you want to read that, is down uh, below in the description to this video. You can see a link to the Eurogamer review. Uh, it was given a 6 out of 10, uh, which uh, in my opinion was a little bit generous, but uh, the author of the review uh, is a little bit more... Uh, he goes, he's played the whole game, He's, you know, he knows about all the, the good gameplay mechanics in there that I've not, I've not seen yet. I've only seen the the, the the bugs so my opinions so far is a little bit shallow I've not played the whole game but um, yeah do go and read that review for a, a balanced view and not just a, a stupid uh, view uh, like mine will be um, let's get it going shall we and while it's loading I'll say some hellos uh, a little bit of a black screen at the moment while it's loading we've got the guru of grunge here uh, seen plenty of threes and fours in the reviews Eurogamer 6 is the highest he's seen Iceman Gary says yes 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 Ian the king of live streams is back thank you very much your flattery will get you everywhere uh, uh, let's bring me up quickly. <coughs> Andrew Graham's watching. Hello, this should be fun. I'll doubt this is a very good game. Uh, Deguru says, why waste time making a video for a poorly made game like this? This is probably a get cash quick scheme off a popular movie title. I think, I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure this game's been in development for a while. Um, so you'd think maybe the standard would be a little higher than normal movie tie-ins, but at the same time, I reckon they might have rushed it right at the end to get it out in time for the movie. Dodosaurus is watching, he says hi, and Groove Grunge is watching, uh, The Voice 11 is watching for entertainment, and Stroyge is watching, and Matty Mag. So hello to you, and hello to the other 50-odd people who are watching. Uh, this is Star Trek The Video Game. It's developed by Digital Extremes, who did... Uh, the Darkness 2, which I really liked, um, and it's published by Namco Bandai and Paramount, and uh, it's out on the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the PC today in the UK. I think it's been out in the US for a little while. Uh, I'm playing on the Xbox 360 uh, version, and I have heard that, or well, at least the video I watched uh, by a guy called Angry Joe, uh, he was saying that the PC version, the co-op wasn't watching. He posted that video a couple of days ago, so I don't know if it's working yet, but I'll be trying out the co-op uh, in this game uh, about halfway through. Uh, I'm going to play with an AI character for the first bit, but I've heard, and I don't know if it's fixed yet or not, but the, the, the PC co-op isn't working at all. But that could possibly have been fixed. Uh, right, Star Trek. This is um, set between the first, well, the, the reboot and uh, the upcoming film, Star Trekking Into Darkness, or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to play on. Do you want to reset your X upgrades XP and research data so you can uh, carry through your XP and upgrades new game plus star, which is kind of cool. Uh, I will reset it all there because I've I literally not played anything. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Yes, I'm sure. Beam me up to a new game. Evening in. Hypno Junkies here. Matty Mags uh, says his laptop is back. He's missed a lot of uh, live streams. Uh, ooh, who shall I be? Should I be Spock? To Spock unlock. Tactical, precise and logical. Doesn't sound like uh, doesn't sound like me. Brash, bold, and clever. That doesn't sound like me either. I wish there was a um, a, a weird, stupid one. Never mind. Let's just uh, start the game. And I'm going to put it on private for now. On game type, you can play a uh, public game, so people can jump into your matches. I think you can only jump in at the beginning of levels, though. 
Uh, this is by the same guys who did Darkness 2 Aces, Guru of Grunge. Love that game. In fact, I 100% it. Shame the game doesn't look like half the game the Darkness 2 was. <laughs> Don't give him an itch. So we start off right in the action here. Uh, the bad guys I'm fighting are the Gorn. Star Trek fans on Earth is kind of the rubbery lizard dudes that Kirk fought in one of the really old Star Trek films. Whoop. Oh. Ian, could you do the glitch from your video? Says Dodo. So yeah, I, I tweeted out a vine of a of a glitch that I. Um, yes, I'll do that. It's the exact same glitch I found at a preview event. <clears throat> Wait, what's? No, Kirk. No, Spock. Don't fight. Your friends! Boom. Tense. Here we are on the Enterprise. <clears throat> it is your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Does quite look like Chris Pine. Damn it. Damn it. Your choice was valid, Captain. And Oh, is Zachary Quinto doesn't predictable. Mm. Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Whoa. Uh -oh. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. But he does cheat. Oh, Kirk. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get transported to the 23rd century and also the 90s in gameplay. Loading. Because <laughs> the first thing I did when I, when I played this earlier, which it made me laugh out loud because I walked and there, there, he jumped. <laughs> I don't know how it, it never happens. It only happens when you first start the game, but you can get Spock to uh, balance on your head, uh, which it only happens at that point, and I, I, I couldn't do it for any longer. But you can also kind of, if I can do it, you can merge the characters together into one. There's no kind of solidness of their bodies. They can kind of like start that Spice Girls song when two become one. There you go. It's uh camera's not the best either. Whoop. Come on, get in there. I've never felt closer to you, Spock. Now show me Oh he's got his hand on his bum. Wow, I didn't know they allowed that in Starfleet. Uh so this is the glitch that I uh, I vined out earlier. Let's see if I can still do it. And yeah, you can go right inside Kirk's head. As, as long as you walk up close to the wall, you can go right inside Kirk's head and you can see the back of his eyes and his mouth. That is amazing. That's, um... Peculiar that they'd uh, keep something like that in. Um, but fun in a way, I guess. If you've ever wanted to know what was inside Captain Kirk's head, now you can. And then if you merge them together, you can also... If I do it gently, see what's in both of their heads. <laughs> oh, look, Spock's eyelashes. Are, oh no, they've both got kind of girly eyelashes. But Spock looks like he's got red lipstick on, whereas Kirk is, has, has more manly lips. That's nice. So there you go. 23rd century for you. Um, someone saying there's an echo. I don't know. Uh, if you guys can hear an echo, if the audio is weird, please do let me know. Uh, there's um, and then there's another glitch that um, I saw someone else find. A guy called uh, uh, Andy Kelly. He uh, tw he vined this out. If you hold LB to do your uh, 
your tricorder. This only works in corridors where Spock can't move. You hold your tricorder out, and uh, he becomes a giant. Because, uh, of course, that's what happens when you get close to people. They become giants. Hello there, Spock, you giant Vulcan. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's dwarfing me, but then if I take away my tricorder, let's try and get the camera, hang on, right. there you go, he's back to normal. Um, Spock's the only person this works on because everyone else has a really kind of jarring invisible wall around them. Um, so you can't get in between these guys. This is the living, breathing uh, um, Enterprise. This was sold to me in, in a, a preview event that the, uh, the Enterprise was living, breathing. It felt like you were there. But it, it, it feels like you're on a kind of doll's house version of the Enterprise and everyone's a kind of mannequin. So because these guys have an invisible wall around them, you can't tricorder into them, but because uh, you can go through Spock you can uh, you can turn him into a giant so there's there's hours of uh, giganto spock fun there if you really want to have it he's so big anyway <laughs> i should be testing out the uh, the gameplay rather than doing a qa tester's job for them hello there green lady i can't go inside the green lady unfortunately because uh, she's got an invisible wall as to these guys, invisible walling it. I like this guy's eyes though. He's nice. Look at that. Flash, flash, yeah. Hello there, sir. Right, let's go. Let's take a walk onto the bridge. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult. But the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. <laughs> That's a really, really bad model of, um... Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. What's his face? I've oh, gone out mad. Sean of the dead guy. Mind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're <coughs> right. Lieutenant O'Hara, any response? So far, this hasn't been like. None, sir. No, looks like. Anger bad. Uh, this has just been like comedy bad. Um. Hold it, wait! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> what the f <laughs> he just floated I'm so glad I streamed that live and you guys saw that as well because he literally just levitated hold X to use turbo lift let's hope he doesn't Captain levitate again insist. my word that was hilarious you know what Mr. Spock a change of scenery might do you some good Captain you come with me Captain he's, he's floating again sort of your shuttle's ready Captain but do you think it's wise to go yourself I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he's. Looks more like Carl Pilkington than anything else. Hold X to talk to Scotty. Mr. Scott, is there no way to transport survivors off that vessel? I like to think that nothing is impossible. I change shoulders. With that much interference out there, I wouldn't recommend it. Simon Pegg, that's it. Thank you, Stroyger. Who's talking about sick bay? So. Hey, which one of you left this phase generator running? Someone could get killed. His mouth wasn't moving. I saw that. Lazy. It's the future. Maybe they can communicate telepathically or something. Do, 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 do. What is he doing? He is... Oh, no. He was just... He was just pretending to mime a door, I think. What are you doing? Where's he going? No, 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 that guy said. I think I'm making my own game up, which is more fun. Uh, right, let's go through here. Spock, get suited up. 
I didn't know Simon Pegg was in Star Trek. Maybe I should watch that movie to destroy you. It's not a bad movie, really. It's alright. I'm not a big fan of uh, classic Star Trek. Uh, it was a dumbed-down, action-packed 21st century version of Star Trek to appeal to all the kiddies. I'm, I'm sure hardcore Star Trek fans hated it. It was alright. It's worth a watch. Far Cry Universe says hello. The space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sewell, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of the night? Colonial Marines' levels of glitchiness right now, says Guru Grunge. Although, uh, Colonial Marines' glitches were just horrible and, and nasty, and I kind of didn't expect it to be that bad, so I was kind of, there was a bit of anger and disappointment mixed up with my uh, and there was a lot of boredom with the the, uh, the Aliens Colonial Marines game which I don't think I don't think this one will, I think this one will be more f a lot more fun to play than Colonial Marines and because I was expecting it to be pretty rough uh, I you know I, I'm not as disappointed but there are some definite uh, there's some definite <laughs> awful glitches so far and we've only just started Where's he off? Spock, come on. <laughs> Waiting on your partner. Let's get some giganticism going again while we wait for this thing to scan. Oh. Hold, hold Y, Spock move to. You see that right there, written right there? Does that make sense in any kind of language? Hold Y, Spock move to. I'm not sure... Hold Y, Spock move to. Hold Y to move Spock to. Hold Y for moving Spock. Hold Y and Spock will move there. That's three things I just thought of off the top of my head uh, randomly that sound better than hold Y, Spock move to. No time to waste. Ghost down there, Spock. Move to there, Spock. <coughs> TRCL Gaming says, sorry, I'm Oh, now I can't walk through you, Spock. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold Y, Spock, move to. That's it. Make your mind up. He doesn't know whether he's a ghost or he's solid. This way. You must hurry. The fun you were afraid you were going to Ian shoots Spock, says Dodosaurus. Uh, I haven't got my gun yet, but I'll try. We must find an alternate review. So, one of the good things mentioned in the review of this game is that the, the, uh, the kind of relationship between Kirk and Spock is pretty cool. Amongst some dodgy lines, there is some uh, pretty good writing in there. Tight spaces, press and hold X. What next to a vent to enter it? I'm entering a vent. A space vent. Here we go. Ever wanted to know what it looked like inside a Starship Enterprise vent? Me neither, but now you can. I'm on my new. kind of have our hands full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. Just keep an eye on it. Aye, aye, sir. Keep checking, check off. What's in here? It's an empty room with nothing in. Damn you! Okay, here we go. This is one of the uh, the crazy co-op elements of the game. Hold X. Where did he come from? He just from nowhere. Come on, front open. Yeah. Yeah. Vulcan saying, "Open the door." Let's get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. Here you go. Right. Hold Y to Spock unlock. So there's lots of mini games, uh, unlocking mini games. I'll show you one later. But you can actually, you don't even have to. 
I, you don't even have to play them. You can make your co-op character play them if you're playing in uh, AI mode. Explore your surroundings to search your wires. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Run away! I like how every Vulcan had their hair cut with a bowl. Let's show a hack then. Let's say hack. Match signals. Here we go. Billy11 says this needs more lens flare. So what are we doing? We've got to match signals. Wibbly one. Let's find a wibbly one. No. No. That's wibbly. Matched it. Those two match. Da -da -da -da, wibbly. That is a squarey one. That one? Yeah. And then a, a, a one. There we go. Sweet. Uh, I like how technical my descriptions of those waves were. It wasn't like sine wave or anything like that. Let's go, Spock. I guess it's better than co-op in the Resident Evil games where you have to wait for ages for your partner to make their way to destroy you. That is very true. They just kind of walk to this. Uh, my headphones are really loud. <laughs> the voice 11 says hold wide to Kirk jerk. Brilliant. Iceman Garage is saying how was your holiday and it was very good. A little, a little bit of a town. Uh, right, uh, here we go. We're going to uncharted light territory now with a little bit of uh, acrobatical climbing. This game is a mixture of kind of Gears of War cover based combat and uncharted style climbing I, I think from from what I've played so far but um, I've heard there's lots of different kind of types of things stolen from other games like there's a bit where you fly through space it's blatantly ripped from Dead Space uh, 3 and stuff like that. Uh, I've got to deactivate this arm so I'll unlucky Spock there uh, can climb. I might just let him sweat for a bit. Having fun there? Hold Y to Spock deactivate. Does that deactivate Spock? Or, or what? There we go. I deactivated that arm for Spock. And then hopefully he'll deactivate. Oh no, I just blew up. Ooh, that was some glitch animations. Jump in! Out we go. Yeah. Where are you, Spock? Where's Spock gone? Oh, that's right, he's right behind me all the time. Hacking mini games seems like something out of Mass Effect, uh, says ODST 316. And uh, Riptide anytime soon, says Matty Mags. Might do a Riptide stream soon. I'm hoping to get a couple of the Eurogamer guys playing it with me, like a co op Eurogamer one, like we did with the Gears of War. Uh, judgment stream. Everyone, I really enjoyed it, and so did everyone else. Uh, so that would be pretty cool to do again. Come on, Spocky! Can I get my gun? Oh, let's see if I can shoot Spock. Oh, he's running. He's sensible enough to run away. Now, Spock is invincible. Giant Spock. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's so weird. I'm like sitting on his shoulder. It's like a little baby Kirk sat on. An adult box shoulder there. Lovely. Oh, we're in each other again. How uh, how embarrassing. Fire doesn't hurt. You. Oh, yeah, it does. Dilly, dilly, dilly. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at all the bugs and not. I should really play the game rather than laugh at the bugs. Uh, <laughs> Spock apportation, instant Vulcan summon says test channel for just me. Uh, Guru Grunch says, is Riptide is glitch ridden as the original when it was first released? I've only played first hour or so and it's not as glitchy as the first one, no. Who were? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hit certain death. Spark, let's try to avoid direct exposure. <laughs> Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can to your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain we kill Vulcan fashion beard, device. sir. What? Try to live long and prosper. Lol. 
Hmm, okay. I didn't listen to any of that. I guess we go this way. Hold Y! Spock, move to! Over here! No hurry, Spock! Just no rush. Things are exploding and stuff. It's okay. Now what? Oh, I've broken down oh, no. it. No shadows, says the voice no. eleven. Nope, no shadows. Those it looks like profit suit from Crisis Three. Waiting on your partner. Whoa. Uh, Wily Cat says, ooh, that minigame will get annoying before I even get the game. That's the cool thing, you can get Spock to unlock. We should engage mag boots now, sir. <laughs> this looks proper bobbins, says Test Channel, just for me. If you move further away from Spock with whatever that device is, does he get smaller? I don't think so, I'll test it in a second for you. Once this cutscene's finished. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Got it. Wait for it. Go, uh, click L triggered spell. Oh. B to cover. Wow, Spock, you're melting. Run, Kirk! D -d 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 Hiding from things. Whoa! Captain, stay in cover. It's getting hot out here. It's getting hot out here. So take off your spacesuit. Uh, get out! Get Is this a PS2 game, says Mr. Dr. Electricon? Quite possibly. Oh god, don't burn! Lol. Right. Oh, it was a bit too slow there. Run! Yeah, just in time. Where are we? We're in space. I guess we are. Here we go. Let's get in there. Yeah. Hope we get to. Yay! We get to do some co op stuff. Come on. Come on, Spock. What the? Split up. That's the locking mechanism. Spark and slow down the ring long enough. Hold left trigger to aim, press right trigger to fire. What are you doing, Spark? Do something, Spark. Now would be a good time to shoot. Oh, really? Where is it? I'm a gird. No. Yeah, there you go. Ah, there you go. So now wasn't a good time to shoot the locking mechanism about 15 seconds afterwards. Okay. You keep unlocking, Spockin, and I'll keep shooting. Uh, this is kind of cool. This reminds me of, like, Space 2001. I don't know where I'm going this way. Right, slow my ring down, Spock. I hope he does it automatically. I guess he's going to stop there. Yeah. Can you stop it, Spock? Stop it spinning? Am I going to have to work out how to press a button? When the ring 
Oh, it's okay. He's done it. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! I was too busy laughing at a comment. Uh, doc, Mr. Dr. Electricon says... Whoever uh, wrote the text for interactions does English good. Um. Yeah! Final ring! In my exciting space adventure. Wow! Wow! Burning. Come on, Spock. I don't know where you've gone, but do stuff. Yeah, I know, Spock. Okay. I've shot all the locks. Oh, there you are. Hello. Where's he going? It's going to get hot. Yeah, it is. No. Stick on the wall. Oh, where are we going? Over there. This looks like a puzzle from a Ratchet and Clank game, says Fanto Mexable. <laughs> Hypno Junkie says, Thanks, Ian, you saved me another 40 quid. First aliens, then this. Doodly -doo -doo -doo. Oh, oh, over. Ah! No. Run, Spock. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. Oh! Yes. I avoided getting burnt to crisp, burnt to a crisp by the sound. Yes! Mini games! No rush, Spock. The sun's gonna burn us to death. Yeah! Well, so far, buggy and broken, but I don't hate it like I did uh, Colonial Marines. What's that weird crab walk he did then? Shoot the blue vents to create cover from the heat blasts. I've, this is as far as I've got. By the way, this is, I've not, I've not got further than this. Woo! Oh, nice. I am creating my own cover. Captain, that'll be a good time to regret your pur purchase, says the voice eleven. So how do you actually die, seeing as you can survive being immolated by a stasis test channel just for me? I guess if you stay out too long, you'll die. I don't... Yeah, my health is going down if I get in the sun. At the moment, I'm just getting a nice tan, I guess. What? Oh, ah! Uh. Du -du 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 -du. That vent is just on fire. Let's try this one. It's like, whoa! Shooting! No? What is it? I thought that was a vent. Is that a vent? No! Screw it. Oh, there they are. Oh. Quiet, Spock. Do like to repeat their dialogue a lot in this as well. What difficulty are you on, Ian? The sun barely seems to be tanning you, let alone damaging you. I'm on um, m m m medium at the moment. So... Blah! 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 Oh god, I'm gonna die! Oh! <laughs> Anti-gravity ragdolling, oh god. I hope... I hope I don't have to go back miles. Oh, you son of a... Is that a... So oh! Spock floated again! Is that some kind of Vulcan Easter egg there? Is that Vulcan writing? Oh, how annoying. I've got to do this bit again. Sorry, guys. That's what I get for testing stuff. Give me my gun! Why can't I get my gun out? Shot. Let me get my gun out. I hope Spock doesn't keep stating the obvious in this game, says the voice 11. I think you're wrong. So I can't get my gun out until a certain point. Oh, 
Well, Worth a shot. Let me use my face then. There we go. You should be playing on well done, given how burnt you are, says Test Channel just for me. Oh! Oh, not all the vents are stable. That one is. Come on! Run, Kirk! Apologies for this. I hate having to repeat sections in live streams. Yeah! Do 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 do. Run, Kirk. Right, we're doing it. We're gonna get there this time. Do 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 do. Run faster. There's a sun gonna burn you. There we go. That person wasn't there a minute ago. This one is still alive. Quick, let's get him inside. Did he just say him? It looks like a woman. Don't worry, Ian, at least you proved it's possible to die, says the Guru of Grunge. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tomorrow? In what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to be... Your ship is rubbish tomorrow. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake up though, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. <coughs> oh, after you. So, uh, how do you two <coughs> We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. What a dirty perv. I've got manual lock, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a Captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. <laughs> Prepare to energize. Thank you. Awesome Star Trek stumble there. Oh no! They are all dead. Da -da 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 -da, rocket boots. Oh, we're right. Those gravity boots. Everyone else died though. What? The camera went weird there. Oh my god! Click the left trigger to sprint. Follow the Vulcans! <laughs> really? What? Quite a jump. I play this purely to hear that Scottish guy says Mr. Tactical Teabag. And Phantom Mexico says, I think the faults would be more acceptable acceptable if it was based on the classic Star Trek series. <clears throat> so first level done and well I had a good time I'm not gonna lie the 
gameplay's boring, but the bugs make it very enjoyable. Um, and I don't know. It seems just hilariously bad. And at least it's mixing up the gameplay. We've seen a little bit of shooting, a little bit of climbing, a little bit of running, a little bit of puzzling, all in one level. It's not like Aliens Colonial Marines, where for like an hour and a half you just get one level of just walking through corridors shooting the same bad guy. Uh, so at least it's pandering to my short right? attention span. Definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. We have a problem. What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Hmm. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary system. Binary. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base. I wonder if I can... Oh, planet. yeah, I can make a giant lady. What giant lady. New Vulcan. So it is true. Hello there, giant lady. That means I should be able to go inside her head. Oh, I think she's too short. Uh, she's too short for a peek inside her brain. Never mind. Uh, I don't know whether this will work, but I will try and invite a friend and see if um, anyone's online with it. No. Okay. I had a friend who said they might be online but uh, with it, but he's not yet, so I'll check again later. Do -do -do -do. Where am I going? Let's check my try recorder. Hold Y, Spock, move to! Spock, Spock, move to there! There. Hold Y, Spock, move to. He goes solid when you Spock move him. But then... She's still going through. Wow! Look at her gigantic head. The possibilities are endless with that one. Uh, where am I going? Tricorder, this way. Oh, I've left Spock over there. Is there a way to cancel Spock standing still? No. <clears throat> Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect, however. A project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. Come on, I'll go get some project of this in magnitude. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Okay. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Didn't pay your bills. Power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Ciroc. Never heard of him. Ciroc is Mars' <laughs> father. Ciroc around the clock. Uh, press, uh, press Y to Ciroc unlock with Spark. Why would Ciroc shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. I've caused an anomaly. Where are you going, lady? Where's Spock? Spock? Spock's ticking, Commander. <laughs> oh, there he is. No, he's over there. Where am I going? Over here. What are you guys doing? What are you up to? What are you doing? Ah. You're trying to fight your way through that invisible wall, I see. <clears throat> Use turbo lift. 
waiting on your partner. Oh, God. Oh! Yes! Teleportation Spock! Do nothing to teleport Spock unlock. Mr. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, <laughs> but I believe it's some kind he looks of weird. In the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. It appears to be a shortcut through space. There is no way to know for sure, Commander. Commander. I believe that rift is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Ohura, hail New Vulcan. Hi, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans Captain. the rib is contracted. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. Oh, no, he did uh. Okay, we're going down to New Vulcan. I don't know what that means. Oh, no teleporter. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, make your mind up, Spock. Where's the Come back. That's it. I must request permission. Oh, Vulcans were supposed to be intelligent. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Wiley Cat says I've got the best fake Russian accent ever. They have the fake, best fake Russian accent ever. You should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your It's because I used to work with a guy from uh, Russia. Um, and I am the only one on this ship that has ever been my own job. of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys driving me nuts. What are you looking at? Wait, wait. It's <laughs> like they're scared of me. I'll go over here. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow me. Hey, hey. Run, run away. Run away. Run away from me. No, nope. oh, I'm not doing it now. What are you doing? Ah, oh, nothing, sir. I'm just scanning this ladder. Uh, oh my god, there's a giant man with the scanner. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. We don't need to see that, people. Can I go up this ladder? I can't believe that guy's scanning ladder. Why would this one guy not have an invisible wall? When that would be an appropriate place to have it. <laughs> Hey! My phaser, Mr. Scott. I've fixed some wee modifications on it, just like you asked. I've the Russian bloke looks like he's made out of porcelain. It's majorly creepy, I'll says the Guru of Grunge. <coughs> until I show you these plasma rifles. Work Ooh, like plasma rifles. My phaser will do. Mr. Scott, Aww. if you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. So they've even cut a new phaser for this game, I do believe. It's like modelled after a uh, Wild Western six shooter, but space style. Did he ever phone you and ask you to go bowling, says the Guru of Grunge, uh, talking about my Russian friend. No, but whenever I had a house party, he'd always drink vodka, and it would be so funny, because you'd hear him, like, from across the room, he'd be like, Where is my vodka? <laughs> he'd be like, Fyodor, your vodka's over there! A crazy guy. Okay. Oh. Space cacti! You cannot shoot the cake, the space cacti. Negative. Can I shoot the birds? I always try to... Don't know, but yes! Amazing. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I play a game, I always try and shoot the birds. I used to... I remember... Uh, Halo 3? Or... One of the Halo games. Uh, I think it was the Halo 3 remake of Zanzibar. I used to sit with my sniper rifle and shoot the birds from a distance over the sea. Like, train myself to snipe well. Never worked. I was still always a rubbish sniper. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on mm, this door. Space hammer. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Really? Hold X to hack. Commander, I need your help in this system. Uh, oh, what? Oh, it's that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm. No, I'm not controlling this, but my AI character is. Have we got to match the. Oh, I, my AI character is uh, is in control of 
one of them. Is this it? I think we're going to match it. So I, I would have to move my stick and then the AI character is pretending to occasionally mess up. There we go. Override successful! <coughs> The RSPB will not be pleased, Ian. Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tomorrow, can you operate? And Merillion um, 79 thinks I they look like Morrowind cliff down. races. Captain, and then goes, Squee! Implying that I should stay behind. Tomorrow, we may need your technical assistance should things get unfriendly, unpredictable. Tomorrow! But my father. When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. Let's go, Spock. Hold why Spock move to. I believe we have a problem. Really? Hmm. You can't make that a couple jump. of problems, I think. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. No. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, Spock was right. You cannot cross unharmed. Really? You can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. Watching this game in motion is like some kind of masochistic pleasure. I, uh, I, I'm, um, I'm enjoying it in a way. It's just, it's quite hilarious. What have I found? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, I think I've found a collectible. Oh, I've used my tricorder to activate the bridge. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, uh, I'm not going to lie, this game is pretty damn bad, but I'm having a laugh with it, I've, I've got to say. New Vulcan! They are dead, Captain. <laughs> no, they're just sleeping, what are you talking about? Oh, no, they're dead. It's okay, they're dead, everybody. The Space Age Cherry Picker. Do Vulcans have green blood, uh, or has that guy just died of a horrible sneezing disease. Oh god, I'm dying. Oh, they've got... They're just dying of a really horrible cold. That's their problem. Whoa, he sneezed the back of his own head off. Is there any, no, nothing through there. Wow, this is the worst cold ever. Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't see anything except for... Uh, ooh, what's that? Can I scan that? No. I've not been scanning, so I've probably missed loads of, uh, loads of secrets. Who's this? Oh my word, it's the guy from Infamous! I think. Whoa! whoa. I, wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed, we both need to use stun from this point on. Scan out. defeated enemies to unlock new research data and XP. I think he's been poisoned. Uh. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands. And How do I make it to stun? Oop. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, right trigger shoot, and then I guess that is stun. Vulcans have green blood, Ian. So everyone's saying that Vulcans have green blood. So they didn't die. Unfortunately, they didn't die of a violent sneezing disease, which I was really hoping would have been uh, the order of the day uh, I can upgrade some stuff combat recon uh, blah, blah, blah. What? energy how much XP have I got 550 right, let's upgrade some energy and some combat no they all need a lot of XP support Use on your ally to overcharge their shields. Me. Choose for Spock. Oh, and then you can upgrade Spock as well. But he doesn't deserve it. How do I get out? How do I get out? Let me out. How, how do you... There we go. I don't know. I just mashed buttons to get out there. I thought I was trapped. Come on, Spock. Come on. Here, yeah, Spocky Spocky. There you go. Good boy. The voice 11 says, The dead Dave. 
Uh, I think he's doing a red dwarf joke. Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any <coughs> other way. Use the phaser to stun the infected Vulcan, then move in close, and tap X to perform a non-lethal takedown. Uh, <laughs> who is that? <coughs> have you come to help us? What? <laughs> who is that? Have you come to help us? He says after being shot. This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. S uh, Spock can mind meld some unconscious enemies to learn door codes. Look for enemies with mind meld icons in tricorder in tricorder view. Hold Y, Spock mind meld. <laughs> what? A mind meld is I thought he was dead, but he suddenly starfished. What are you doing? Is he touching his eyeball? Grim. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has It's Eurus Wroth. That's what the guy in the uh, elevator reminded the guru of grunge of. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. Yes, now you can stun birds and watch them fall to their death, which is more humorous and vaporizing than says Wily Cat. Hopefully we'll get some more birds then. Can I use this door thing now? Hold X to enter code. Nice. Their readings are erotic. After all, they are Vulcans. Spock unlock. Do my work for me, Spock. I cannot be bothered. Oh, oh. stunning! <laughs> what? Oh, they don't know. I see. They don't know what they're doing. Whoa. <laughs> Lols. So that the. They can speak and stuff, but their uh, their bodies are being controlled by another presence. Can I jump over here? Oh, that was nice. See if I can sideways jump again. Hit. Yeah. Way. He jumped quite far then. Where are we going, Spock? Through here. Oh, hello. Quickly, come in. Ah, damn it. Doesn't doesn't work. Savensu. Spock. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved <coughs> to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar. Tamar! Please your voice. Now, what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorms. Uh oh. Spock. <coughs> we cannot allow the power of the heat. Can you kill the possessed guys in, or is it stun only? You can kill them, but I think you get more XP for stunning. anywhere in the universe. It would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest lab. Ah oh, man. I've secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected... Let's just go see if we can get a giant spurk, or whatever his name is. Chirok. Chirok. Chirok? No, it's not Chirok. Dinner. Kind of empty levels there. Oh, there's another guy sneezed to death. Come there, a chewy. Tragic way to go. Be approaching a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells on your tripod. No need. Found it. And insertion complete. Kablai. Kirk jumps like Woody from Toy Story and runs like an old, <laughs> like an arthritic old man. Says Phantom Mexible. 
And uh, the Guru Crunch is admiring the quality beard textures on uh, Churok, Surok, around the clock. Quietly and maintain a low profile. We should avoid detection. Captain, Stealth. If you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. I'm going to go stealth mode. Flip mode. I want to I want to see some uh, some Gorn ever stealthing around. He's kind of stealthing like he's desperate for the loon. He's like, "Oh my god, where's the toilet? Where's the toilet?" Wow. That guy repeated himself a little bit there. Stay down. Don't let them see. See through walls, Jason Brody, Far Cry 3 style. Uh oh! Can you help me? <laughs> can you help me? Well, I'm not sure I can, I'm afraid. Don't know if this is the right way to go. Let's see it is. <laughs> Where am I going with this mess of what? I don't think he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, Spock. I, I, I think maybe he is. Maybe if you don't move, they can't see you. Ooh, I can, I can glide a little bit as well. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> um, uh, go. What are you doing, Spock? Oh my god. <laughs> Take down. <laughs> Kidney punch. He looks like he's covered in uh, emulsion from uh, Gears of War. We're going to get some locusts in a minute. Hold Y to Spock unlock. I hope there's a beat em up section for the Gorm fights just like the what the sixties. Most certainly our Starfleet training has prepared us for this moment. <laughs> Kibbe! Must have been away that day. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown. We'll continue to investigate. Bones? They're breaking up. Ha! Uh, awesome. It appears we are now completely on Kibibi. our own. Ooh, Vulcan Pulse Cannon. Run away. <laughs> Run away! Uh, uh. Oh, nice work, Spock. Spock has a mad stealth skill, says Andrew Graham. Whoop! For intelligent people like the Vulcans, uh, they seem pretty keen on just battering people with sticks. I thought maybe they'd have like a uh, some mega guns. Is someone there? No! Honestly, there's no one there. You flankers! Game is amazing. <laughs> Come on. What's he doing? He's doing nothing. <laughs> Do Dad kill me? This is amazing. Someone needs to make a million memes of this game. What are you? What is he? He's just stuck on a. I'm just stuck in a bug. It's okay, I'll still shoot you. Yeah. Wow. Is he still stuck in a box? Oh, he's, you know, he's off his box. Oh, I'm hurt. Gotta be the worst stealth game of the year, lol, says Hypno Junkie. Where am I meant to be going? Over there. Or there? What was that red? What's that? I think it's a oh it's a gun. Do 
Are you the kind of person maybe that loves watching really old, cheesy 80s films that, that, look, that are really bad and just laughing at how bad they are? Uh, I, I'm kind of like that. I like doing that. And, uh, and that's, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this game at the moment. <coughs> Yeah, ooh. If the green was sneezes, I don't want to know why it is. Come on, Spec. Turbo lift. Yeah, commendation. I don't know what that means. This is pretty freaking hilarious, though, I've got to say. Right, well, come on, well, let's see. What? Energy stations. Use energy stations to replenish your tricorder energy. Well, okay. Is that an energy station? Oh, this thing here. I get you. Okay, it looks like a weird eye thing. And now it looks a little bit like a robo willy. You Vulcans looking a little bit broken. This just doesn't get any easier, does it? Let's look for another way. Oh. Spock, over here. An access hatch. Hold X to unlock. But only if you stand in a certain point. There we go. X to use ladder. Come on, I want to see some gone! Clearly curry sauce, says Mr. Tactical Teabag. <coughs> Kickboxer Rambo 2 and Rambo 3, so cheesily awesome. Uh, the Miami Connection is amazing, you should check that film out if you can. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I got to Mash X to push, sorry, I thought it was hold X to push. There's a corn! Hurrah! Looks nothing like uh, they did in the classic series. But I guess it wouldn't be that scary if they looked like a rubber-suited weird dude. Hello. Huh? I have Spock's just shot. Unknown! What? Is it unknown or is it gone? I'm saying my phases to kill douchebags. Run away! Run away! Oh, ow. What? What are you... No! Oh, God. Are you going to help me? Oh, God. Press X to resist. All right, then. Run, Kirk. Let's skip. Merrily along. Lot it off. There's a thing. Lot it off. It's ignoring Spock. Lot it off. Where's it gone? Shoot the thing! This unknown is taking loads to kill. There you go, he's dead. Those textures on the creature look horrible, says the voice of Levin. They look like the amazing Spider-Man's lizard. And Kevin Running says, I just finished this about ten minutes ago. It's very meh. <coughs> Gavin Rollins, did you have as much fun with the uh, the glitches as I've been having? Because uh, they've been uh, they've been a huge source of entertainment for me. Come on, Spock. Hold why Spock move too. I love that. I want that on. Someone said uh, they want that on a T-shirt. I want that on a T-shirt too. If anyone's watching who makes T-shirts, I'll have one that says. Uh, Hold Y, Spock move to on it. And then a picture of Spock going, boom. Captain, the Helios device. 20 minutes left on the stream. Hopefully we'll get a bit more Gorn action before then. He's got the device. We must not let him escape. Really? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I've just jumped into harm's way. Okay, finally, a bit of action. 
Let's uh, mix up the weapons, get in the... Uh, wow! No, I keep pressing jump instead of going to cover. This can only end badly now. Vulcan laser cannon there, took him down, that was nice. Oh, uh, I did. Spock, I'm hurt bad. Can I crawl? Oh, I can crawl. And, uh, what's he doing? Spock slid into place there. Let's try the... Oh, that pauses them. Oh, no, I'm back to my old weapon. Boosh! Oh, that double, double kill. We are too late. They have taken the Helios device. Ravager. Sirak. Sirak. Sirak around the clock. He does not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit. Got to get that device. I didn't back. know Kurt could swear. Do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Gavin Rollins says. Uh, he had tons of AI glitches with Spock. He completed one level later on on his own because Spock was stuck at the beginning in a door, lol. Power has been restored. You may proceed to the turbo lift. This is freaking amazing. Have we got any super Trekkies watching? Like real kind of people who have just loved Star Trek completely, like live, breathe Star Trek. I'd, I'd love to know your opinions on this game because all my opinions come from someone who's not really too familiar with the universe. I know Star Trek and I've watched all the movies, uh, but never really the classic TV show. Uh, never watched The Next Generation or anything like that. And la la la. So yeah, I'd love to. Ow. I'd love to know what you guys, you hardcore Perfect. Trekkies, think of the game. What's this? I got a grenade. Granata! A stasis tube. And that in. Yeah! With the tricorder equipped, tap Y to cancel commands issued to your partner. Oh, uh, so that's how you get him moving again. You could have told me that, like, at the beginning of the game. When you were doing the tutorial missions, what are you doing? Well, they look weird when they walk. The weird stance. Blah! <laughs> it's my vomit gun. Blah! Blah! Space age tea bag. Oh no. Blah! Okay. At least the tea bags are right. <laughs> Red barrels are replaced by these things. That was confused me for a second. Anything in here? Tricorder. Secret stuff. Ooh. What's this? Ah, hold X to heal. Nice. I'm all healed up. Gavin Rollins, I've watched most of the various incarnations of the show. This is just Abrams universe, isn't it now? Nothing like the old. I think it's fine though. So uh, yes, this is all to do with Abrams universe. So uh, definitely. With those gorns, this now reminds me of Dino Crisis 2. That was a great game, to destroyed you. And uh, the voice has always liked how guns that just stick to the people to people's backs in games. To find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get <laughs> Brilliant. I don't know why I did that. Uh, the reason I did that is because I saw a video of a, of a glitch. I'm hoping I can recreate it. I don't know if I'll be able to. No. What? Oh, there you go. He died. Oh, oh. I believe that water is now an electrical. Hat. No. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to uh, supposed to uh, jump it or what. Ah, I see. I 
believe that water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Yeah. Indeed. But that is pretty simple if you put it like that. You gonna uh gonna help me out here, Spock? They have to do my tricorder. Oh Activate. Uh, how to jump backwards, there you go. Doodle. Kirk, Spock, something has happened to my father. I think the Lord have taken Sirak. Where is he? We'll get him back. No, the Helios machine must be your top priority. Sirak would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy no. in danger. Tomorrow, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. What? I would move faster if Kirk stopped doing a dance. There you go. Come on, Spock. You idiot. I just shot Spock in the head. I'm sure he'll warp up to me now. Perhaps. What the hell is that? Hold Y, Spock one way boost. Ooh. Let's time how long it takes Spock to come. Captain, I think I see a power cell in that laboratory. What? No. Nope. Whenever you're ready, Spock. Spock one way boost. Bug. Captain, look up. <laughs> Spock, you cretin. I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Or the no way. Let's go. Spock. Maybe I've got to turn this off. Uh, there you go. Sorry. That wasn't Spock's AI failing, that was my AI failing. Yeah, here we go. Right, let's try this again, Spock Eula. No. No. Spock, one way boost. Hold Y, Spock, one way boost. <laughs> wow. Please assist me, You're that acrobatic little son of a bitch, aren't you? Woo, I floated. And request a boost. Need a hand here, Spock. What do you... Spock, what do you... Now I'm frozen in position. Give me a hand, Spock. What it... Wait, what? What? <laughs> I've been reduced to making noises because I can't articulate how ridiculous. What the? Disappearing scenery now as well. Where's this uh, power core? Here it is. I'm fascinated by this game. I want to play the whole thing. I can't. I've got to end the stream in 10 minutes. But I do want to play the whole thing. Phantom Exable AI. Ian, you're a cyborg. Sometimes. Doors open, let's get moving. Yay, another turbo lift. <laughs> nice noise. Everyone's having conversations about how the guns can stick on people's backs. <laughs> Girl crunches is this real life. Destroys you. What the hell just happened? Right. Hold X to replenish ammo. We're going outside. Let's see. Hopefully there'll be some birds to zap. Oh. No birds. This is uh, not a bad kind of location, huh? it's, no, it looks nice. It's alright that. 
like um, kind of the old school films, kind of oil painting back backdrops before they had CGI. It's nice though. I like that. Well done, background team. Even in the future, they need scissor lifts. What's happening? Oh no, they've gone and done it now. <laughs> I've been thinking of that for ages. Uh, oh. Oh, my gun has run out of bullets. Help me, Spark. I can only turn... I can actually only turn clockwise, but not anti-clockwise. But... My health is in danger. My health is in danger. Ow, my health is in danger. Oh. <laughs> Spark, I need you. What's going on? Can I shoot this guy? Yeah, he's down. Hey, Spark! No rush, dude. Spark, what are you doing? I can't move my character in uh, a sensible direction. Oh, I nearly had to do shoot beneath his nads. Yeah, there we go. There he goes! Let's get him! Do -do -do -do. Love that joke was so crap, I'm crying, says Iceman Garage. And uh, Stroy just says Kirk is breakdancing. Genius. Captain. Oh my god! Take the shot! Yeah! Should have shot Spock. What am I, what am I doing? Climb up. Looks like we've gone got ourselves... Gone hitched ourselves a ride on a, on a gone spaceship there. Trying the same joke twice, but failed on the delivery. Da, 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 da. This game is amazing. My aim is not, though. Kirk Six Shooter is rubbish, by the way. That's much better. Dude, it looks like Jabba's barge from Return of the Jedi. No walk on the solo. Oh, 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 oh. Have some of that. Froze you. I know this is supposed to be a cover-based shooter, but why is my why? I don't know. Oh. How did I manage to switch to my six shooter there? What, have I, what was I doing wrong there? Da 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 da. Uh, uh, skipping. Ooh. Are you a fan of Star Trek, Ian? Says Red Gun Dog. Um, no, I'll always be Star Wars over Star Trek, I'm afraid. Uh, Gavin Willing says there's an awesome upgrade, which turns that into a into a, an SMG. Awesome. Oh, that's cool then. So you can upgrade your weapons. That's good. Uh, what time is it? I think it's probably time to finish the stream now because it's uh, it's 25 past six, according to my watch. Um, looks like we've reached some kind of checkpoint. Yep, saving. There we go. Hope you get Skirk. Uh, Skirk. Kirk. Hello. <laughs> Derp. Well, what a tense moment to leave the game on. Pardon me, I did do a little bit. Let me just double check. I want to see what achievement points I just got. Oh, I got what? That whole time I got one achievement. Completed the Helios 1 chapter on any difficulty. There's a lot of secret achievements. A lot of achievements for killing people. In fact... A huge amount of the achievements are for killing and buying upgrades. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. 
Uh, so that was uh, <laughs> that was Star Trek the video game. It's out today to buy if you want. Um, I'd suggest renting it um, because it's not worth forty pounds, in my opinion. Um, I've, to be completely honest, I've had a very good time playing it with you guys. I've had a very good laugh. Uh, I think if you've got a few mates over and you like playing silly games, then this it would this would be hilarious uh, to play. Um, it's by no means an awful game it's not it's super buggy but it's not completely broken and unplayable and it's not horribly mediocrely boring like aliens colonial marines is although it doesn't seem to be you know cutting edge gameplay by any means it's it's not hellish though it's it's nowhere near as bad as something like aliens colonial marines or wreck it ralph for the wii or double dragon the wonder of dragons is it, it's it's got bits to love i guess or to be kind of slightly fond of i had no idea what was going on story wise i had a lot of fun playing with the glitches and just laughing at the stupidness of it uh, that would have been where I'd get my money's worth from so if you do like playing silly games like this uh, then you know maybe pick it up if you're a Star Trek fan and you love the movies pick it up I guess uh, but yeah I in my opinion I wouldn't part for m much money with this game I would rent it uh, but you know Everyone has their own opinions, and that is that is uh, merely mine. Um, so I guess if you want more 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 live streams, follow me there on Twitter and follow Eurogamer on Twitter, uh, and that'll be there'll be updates on all the Eurogamer live streams and all the Eurogamer videos, uh, all tweeted out from both those accounts. Have loads of exclusive interviews and early gameplay videos and early live streams of uh, you know all of the big upcoming games. Eurogamer is like a massive website, and we get great early hands-on with games. Developers are, are normally really cool with uh, giving us exclusives and stuff and um, letting us show you guys snippets and previews and stuff of them. So please do subscribe to the channel as well because there's loads of cool stuff coming up and with the journey into the next gen I'm sure that we'll be getting some really cool stuff to show you guys in the coming months leading up to and after E3. Thank you very much everyone for watching including Gavin Rollings, the Guru of Grunge, Mr. Tactical Teabag, The Voice Eleven, Stroyger, Iceman Garage, Mr. Dr. Electricon, uh, Hypno Junkie 001, Andrew Graham, Mr. Tactical Teabag, uh, Eden 01PD2010, and Red Gun Dog, and anyone else? Phantom Exable, and everyone else who commented. It's great to see that we're getting lots of. Uh, familiar names as well now it's really good we'll, we'll, I'll be trying to do another community live stream soon as well so uh, hopefully we can build up this uh, Eurogamer live stream community and be a you know have some really cool uh, fun gaming times ahead of us anyway I'm, I'm, I'm jabbering on as I normally do at the end of these streams so I'm going to go now and uh, leave you to your uh, evening din -dins. Uh This was Star Trek The Game, and I weirdly had an amazingly fun time with it. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again very soon on Eurogamer. That was... Uh, I don't know how someone else would have pronounced Eurogamer. Eurogamer. Bye.